Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to pop down a couple of cards for the day, some tarot and some oracle. Um, first of all, apologies for not being around over the last few days. Unfortunately, the whole full moon energy has been playing havoc with me. Um, and um, sometimes when the full moon's quite strong, I get migraines and headaches and real, real kind of bad um, tiredness. It really find it quite draining sometimes. So apologies for that. Um, but hopefully that energy is now gone on its merry way so I can uh, get back into doing my cards for the day so let's just have a little shuffle <clears throat> and pop down one of the tarot cards let's see what we've got okay so our card for today is the fantastic emperor card so the emperor is um one of the major arcanas so it's one of the bigger the big cards in the deck it talks about major life events things that are going on right now <clears throat> that are kind of important so all of the major arcana will talk about that sort of energy so the emperor is um first of all it's the card that talks about aries it talks about um determination power strength all of those kind of things you think about the emperor the emperor's kind of made it hasn't he he's there he's got all the power he's got all the minions running around behind him he's very very powerful um so the emperor talks about you being able to step into that energy being that powerful person being determined not letting anybody get in your way um aries sometimes can come across across as quite a, a selfish energy and it does have that element to it absolutely but what the emperor is saying is the the plus side of that is to be focused be focused on your on yourself um you know be focused on your own direction um so i would say to you the best thing to do today is to be very focused on where you want to be going what your direction is um, where you want to go what your mission is if you like um, so I would just say to you that um, the Emperor is powerful strong and he is very sure about where he's going in terms of a business card it talks about businesses it talks about success in business new contracts all that kind of thing so it's a very very positive card when it comes to work in terms of a card for the day, it's about getting things done, stepping into your power, being really strong, being really powerful. And um, yeah, just kind of taking the ball by the horns really and going for it. Sorry, excuse me, just got a bit of a tea. Um, yeah, so that's your Emperor. If you look at the Emperor card in the Faulkner deck, you'll see. Sometimes it stands out, sometimes it doesn't. If we look just down here, I don't know if you can actually see whether the lighting's good enough to be able to see it or not. Um, if you look down there in the corner, you can see there's a horseshoe shape on the road. When I'm drawn to that, I'm drawn to the things being lucky, okay? Um, something being lucky, a change in luck, a change in fortune. Um, you kind of doing something that you're not really sure about, but actually it really pays off for you. So it's a it's a it's a card that talks about luck as well sometimes. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel really positive. I really like the Emperor. That's not surprising because I am an Aries. Um, is it just feels like it's really strong, determined, going where you're going to go. Stick to your guns. Don't be put off by anybody else. Know that what you're doing is the right thing for you. All of that stuff comes with the Emperor. Then. I'm going to just have a little shuffle of this Mystic Shaman. Okay, let me just pop those down there because I've dropped a couple on the floor. Okay, 
so I've just reshuffled those ones and put them back on the top. Let's see which one we've got. Oh, eagle, lovely. So this is really interesting. Um, because I'm kind of drawn to a lot of this the stuff on here. That is talking about strength and power. Okay, so if you look at the the sixteen. Um, if you want to go into true numero, I'll put this down here so you can see better. If you want to go into the true numer numerology of this stuff, is one and six would be, um, you would you take your sixteen, put the one and six together, and end up with a seven. Um, but I don't feel drawn to do that because I'm looking at the sixteen and I'm thinking four times four because we've already got four here. So I'm feeling like the fours are significant. The four talk about stability. They talk about building on stable, stable energy. <clears throat> so I feel like that's what I'm looking at. Eagle is about seeing things clearly to me. Um, you think about the eagle. The eagle kind of flies above everything, doesn't doesn't he? And he kind of goes in and grabs what he needs to. He can see things from a distance so sees things very clearly i'm just going to have a quick look in um colette baron reed's guidebook about the eagle and see what she says there's quite a lot of eagles in this um in this deck so let's have a look and see what the eagle talks about okay so the essence of this card is the eagle comes from the east, the place of the rising sun of new beginnings. Soars in the sky, sees the smallest detail with clarity without losing track of the bigger picture. Nests in the high mountains. Um, for the eagle, there is no obstacle, only opportunities. That's very similar to the emperor. Emperor doesn't see obstacles. That are actually, the emperor will just knock them out of the way. Um, she calls you to ascend to acquire perspective so that you can fly with the creative spirit so it's so asking you kind of if you are in a situation today that you're looking at and you're thinking Ugh, that's a bit of a scrumby situation rise above that so that you can see the bigger picture the invitation in this card is have you become trapped in your daily routine and feel you do not know where to go and what to do next if you lost your sense of purpose eagle invites you to take a deep breath and spread your wings when was the last time you opened them the eagle reminds you that your spirit was born to soar in the heaven as you contemplate choices ask yourself do i want to live in a chicken coop sheltered from life counting the regular feelings or do i want to soar like an eagle if your answer is in is the latter you must accept the eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that will help you choose freedom very very similar to the emperor in its energy um because the energy of the emperor is what do you want go for it you know don't hang about don't mess about don't get put off don't get blocked don't get bogged down go for it so the ego is saying to you you know kind of rise above all of the everyday you look at the big picture of this situation of whatever it is that you're looking at and just say what do i really want I can can you see your way can you see something clearly are you able to see that there are other opportunities for you other than the ones you are stuck in right now um so these two are really really positive energy cards that are saying um you know it's all about you now really do what you want to do go where you want to do it. go make the things happen that you want to see happen in your life so lovely really positive cards which I will leave with you for today all being well, I should be back with you um, again, <coughs> again tomorrow. Um, as long as we don't have too much stormy weather that just gives me migraines and stuff. Um, but um, fingers crossed, we, if, if there's going to be a storm, it'll be later today, and that will get it out of the way. Um, have a really, really good day, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.